Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to understand about the union and the union all. This is an important interview question also, so let us understand. So union and union all generally we use to combine two or multiple table. For taking example, suppose I have a two table, this is my table one, employee 2023. I have a second table, employee 2024. Now I have to combine these two table on a row basis, then I will use a union and a union all. When I am saying row basis means, like this is the first table right so i want final output like this i want all the rows from the first table and after that i want all the rows from the second table means on a row basis if i am doing a combining then i will use for the union and the union all operation so whenever you have to combine two or multiple table on a row basis we use a union and the union all now what is the difference between the union all and the union let's try to understand so whenever you will perform a union so always remember whenever you will perform a union it will remove the duplicates value for taking example suppose this is the two table here if i'll perform a, a union operation then what will be the output i will get i will get all the record from the first table all the record from first table and after that here you can see if i'll perform a union operation three is already present three is already present here right so this records it will not come again we will get only this output means only the unique values you will get in the final output so whenever you will perform a union operation it will remove the duplicate while combining the table in the case of union all it will show you all the records from the table so you, you can see this is my records from the first table this is all the record from the second table means all the records you will get so this is the output we will get in a union all operation so whenever you will perform a union operation it will remove the duplicate whenever you will perform a union all operation it will show you the all the records and it will combine that now few things we have to remember uh, in a union all and the union suppose this this is this we have a same kind of the structure in the both the table so we are able to combine this all the thing right means schema is same so whenever you will be having a same schema then only you will be able to perform this union all and the union operation for taking example suppose you are doing a id name id name only this id name from the first table and this from id name from the second table you want to combine then it will work because in the both the table id name is present then then you are able to combine now for taking example suppose id name you are taking from the first table and this id and the name and the department you are taking from the second table now in this case whenever when you will perform a, a union operation right because the schema is not same in this case it will not work so always you have to remember whenever you will perform a union and the union all operation the schema should be same now let's take one example suppose i have this first table employee 2023 this is my second table employee 2024 now let's see how actually we can perform a union operation so what I will write, I will write first select star from table name 1, select star from employees 2023, after that I will write union, second table select star from employees, whatever the my second table name is, employee 2024, so this is the syntax, select star from table 1, union, select star from table 2, if I'll perform union operation means it will remove the duplicate. You can see it removed the all the duplicate. If I'll show you the exact table also. This is my first table. This is my second table. You can see the three is present in the both the table, but in final output we are getting only one time means it removed the duplicate. Now let's see how actually we can use the union all operation. So the syntax is very simple. What we have to write select star from table one and after that union all select star from table two. Now if you select and if you execute, you will get all those records. Even though duplicate is present two times, you will get all those records. So that is the difference between the union and the union all. Now you have to remember whenever you are doing a combining in a union operation, whenever you are performing, the schema should be same. For taking example, for taking example, this is my two table I have, right? This is my first table, this is my second table. Now if I am doing a, a union like this, so if I am doing a union like this, select ID name from employees, employees 2023 and I am doing a union, 
select id name from employees uh, 2024 in this case uh, this it should be employee id right so i will mention employee id employee id in this case you can see employee id is present in the first table employee id is present in the second table name is also present in first table name is present in the second table and the schema is also same in this case when i will perform a union it will work it will work but suppose you are doing like this uh, suppose you have a employee id and the name in the first column and in the second uh, table you are taking only the name and the department id department id now in this case if you will perform a uh, union operation it will not work because this department id is an integer time and this name is a string type means the schema is also not same in the both the table in this case it will not work so always you have to remember whenever you will perform a union and union all operation the schema should be same in the both the table while combining so that is the thing we have to remember yeah that's it in this way. thanks